Hello everyone, we are in a chapter uh, electric charges in fields and we are talking about the force of attraction or repulsion between the charges. We know as per the Coulomb's uh, inverse square law, the force of attraction or repulsion between the charges is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square when they are separated by a distance or in vacuum. Mean to say if this is q1 a point charge and if this is q2 separated by a distance r. Now each one repels the other in what direction I want to identify. So what is the force acting on q1? q2 repel it this way. So this is force on q1 by q2. Now q1 also repels q2 in the same way but in the opposite repels therefore it try to push it away. So this value is nothing but force on q2 by q1 and probably you need to know that f on q1 due to q2 is equal to f on q2 by q1 and they are not only equal in magnitude they are opposite in direction. If they are equal in magnitude opposite direction does they cancel each other? This is a simple question that we need to answer understand does they cancel each other because they are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. No, they do not cancel. Why? Because they are, they are not acting on same charge rather they are acting on different charges. Therefore, they are not going to cancel each other. They are not going to cancel each other because they are acting on a different uh, charges. Now, how much is that force? We have already written. Say for example, we have kept a new medium F dash is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and k q1 q2 by r square. Why I have got that epsilon naught and k? As we have discussed in the previous class, we have placed in a new, new different medium F dash equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 by r square where epsilon is the permittivity of that medium that is relative permittivity is epsilon by epsilon naught which is also called as dielectric constant that implies epsilon equal to epsilon naught into k because of that reason I have written what all I have written in the above equation. Now the force f dash is different from f force f dash is different from original f when they are in vacuum. If I see uh, if I foresee it like it is changed because of the change of the medium if I want to explain that it is changed because of the change of the medium I can say in terms of a dielectric constant like I have said uh, say for example I want to say in terms of this in terms of this I would like to say I want to say the new separation in terms of a dielectric constant I would like to say the new force is this much because the new distance of separation is nothing but a k r square. So I can say new distance of separation x is equal to or x dash equal to k r square new distance square is equal to because it is a square of a distance. Then if I have to say the new separation in terms of the dielectric constant I can say x is nothing but a r root 2 r root k. It is very clear as x is greater than that of the r since dielectric constant k value for any medium is greater than 1. Effective distance has got increased as effective distance got increased effective force has also decreased f dash is less than that of f. So we are expressing that the force is decreasing not only in terms of a dielectric constant we can also express it by saying that uh, as the effective distance is increased effective force between them is uh, decreased. So we have though we have started titling it like what is the charge of the impact of the charge we have not yet got into that uh, third impact of the charge therefore I can I will uh, modify this uh, 
and rather I will say force between the charges and effective distance, effective separation due to a medium. We will talk about the impact of the third charge when we come to the next video lecture, right. So, we will continue this discussion when we come back into the next lecture. Thank you.